Hey ladies, um, I just uh, finished doing my nails and um, I've got some uh, mix left um, so with acrylic and uh, what's well, not really a mix, it's just basically a uh, duo. <laughs> um, I uh, used, I mixed up 50-50 uh, of this and this is what I got. So, uh, and the white glitter, make sure you get all different colors on your nails, like green and blue and yellow and so um, since I have some left I um, decided to make a acrylic ring to match my nails and uh, I've made a video about this before like two years ago and um, with a bad camera and stuff so this is a new and improved version uh, of that um, same video uh, what you need is um, of course your acrylic, your monomer, your acrylic brush um, and you need a ring that already matches your finger so um, in this case is this one right here which is a size 5 I believe and you need something to um, uh, that can cover this ring perfectly or that this ring can cover perfectly sorry so it could be a pen or um, you know maybe maybe even a jar like this which is uh, too big for this ring uh, but I have found this uh, nail polish uh, bottle which is a uh, perfect fit for this ring so uh, this is what I'm going to be using to make my ring I'm just going to put this back on and um, another thing we need is I need a, um, a piece of paper and some tape because um, if you put the acrylic right on the ring it's uh, very hard to get it off so uh, and if you uh, want to uh, create another one uh, and it's uh, it's better to do it this way and the white paper also make sure you can actually see what you're doing so you need to put it right on the edge of uh, your pen or a bottle or whatever you're going to use you need to lock it so I've got little pieces of tape right here and I'm going to lock this right on the edge like that cover it around and lock it again And now I need to cover the um, paper with more tape, so I'm getting a larger piece. And I'm just going to cover this up. Because this tape, it will, the acrylic ring will slide off easier uh, of something like this. Okay. So next thing uh, I'm going to be doing is a, a ring right on the edge here. So you can just pull it off when it's done. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be using this glitter mix and I'm not sure if I'm going to create anything more on it, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, I'm just gonna get my uh, monomer and stuff and I'll be back. Okay, ladies, um, I've uh, got a acrylic brush and this is actually a smaller uh, brush because it's a bit more precise work and uh, and all so I've got my monomer and my paper towel and my um, acrylic uh, mix so let's just uh, get started uh, it's very basic just create a ring so I'm going to get a little ball of acrylic and just putting it right on the edge there very dry maybe it's because the balls I pick are too large I don't know So 
So you're just going to continue this until you uh, get a, uh, a ring. Uh, I'm just going to take one more ball to show you up close what I'm doing. If I can zoom in a little for you guys. Just add ball to ball and uh, right on the edge. So I'm going to continue this until the ring is finished and I'll be back. Okay ladies, so um, the ring is finished. This is what it looks like. Um, of course you're going to add anything uh, on it, like uh, any 3D nail art you got, you can also add it to this. But uh, I'm just going to uh, um, encapsulate this uh, in uh, clear um, acrylic or maybe even gel, I'm not really sure yet. But um, to, uh, to finish it off and uh, the filing part is uh, very easy, which I'm going to uh, show you later. But um, yeah, I'm going to um, yeah, I'm going to encapsulate this uh, in, in in gel. Yeah, why not? Sorry, it takes a long time for me to realize what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get some gel. If I have it right here, yes I do. Just some basic builder gel. Got a brush. Picking up some. I think it will leave a prettier finish on a ring than the clear acrylic. But of course you can also just uh, cap it in uh, in clear acrylic. So I'm going to cover this nail and I'm going to cure it and then I'll be back. Okay, um, I added a UV gel and I cured it so it's done by now. Um, I am um, not, uh, I don't ever file like this part right here, just the sides. So it's ready for me to come off right now. So I'm just going to pull the ring up and as you can see the paper is also moving up. And now it should be easy to remove. If you just twist it. It will get loose from the, oh, there it is, from the tape. Okay, so here's the ring right now. Let's see if it will fit. And it will fit. It's still a bit rough on the sides. So I'm just going to file the sides and just by taking a file like this and just putting your ring on the file. Lost it. Here it is. So it's not so rough anymore. And now, um, finally, you can just add a um, some more acrylic or UV gel on the sides and uh, cure this under the lamp and I will come back with the final result. Okay, so um, I just cured it in the lamp. Still a bit... Um, there's still a uh, layer on there, so I'm going to remove that with a wipe and some alcohol. 
And this is uh, the ring done. Let's see if it still fits. And it fits. So this is just very basic, simple, how to make your own kind of ring. Um, they are not very sturdy and it won't last a lifetime, uh, I can guarantee that. But uh, at least uh, they will last as long as you wear your nails. So uh, thank you all so much for watching this tutorial and uh, I'll hope you'll see you very soon. Bye!